Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Karma Light Readings. I'm Karma. This is a timeless reading. However, I am filming it uh, in the beginning of April 2023. If you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. If at any time you resonate with this reading, Scorpio, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. Please remember to just take what resonates and leave what doesn't as this is a large collective. Uh, any questions you have looking for a reading, description box below my website. We're going to get started with my blessing and prayer and see what messages the Holy Spirit has for you. Mother, Father, God, Divine Holy Spirit of the Most High, Lord Jesus, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel of receiving messages for Scorpio in regards to their current life situation, soul journey, and soul path. I ask that these messages provide Scorpio with clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and wisdom in regards to their current soul lessons, karmic cycles, and general resources. Lord, in all that you are and all that you do, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. In Jesus' name, I pray. Scorpio, I think that you're going back over something. You're, go you're either reviewing something or you're realizing that you missed a step or you missed something. Like something that you, something that was always there, but you didn't see it when you were there. Now you're seeing it. If that makes sense. That's kind of how it's being shown to me. Yeah, like you skipped over something before and now you're either going back to get it or you missed something. You didn't see it before and now you can see it in hindsight. Clarify please messages for Scorpio. Rainbow Obsidian. Heal your heart. Heal your heart. All right. So you're, you're heartbroken over something. You also in the bottom have fluorite. Find peace within. So there's something that has you not at peace. But I don't actually feel anxious either. So it's just kind of like an empty feeling. Hmm. Adventuring. Create your own luck. And on the bottom, torm uh, tourmalated quartz. Get out of your own way. Hmm. Heal your heart. Get out of your own way. For someone, I feel like this is like stop focusing on the pain. Stop focusing on the fact that you're heartbroken or you're hurt and, and move, move that out of the way, you know, create your own, your own excitement, create your own luck. If something isn't going positively for you, you have the power. You have to take action to create the life that you want. It isn't just going to come to you. You have to build it. You have to work at it. You have to create it. Trust your intuition. That's why you've been hurt before. Scorpio, you've been hurt before and so now you don't trust your intuition. And so you don't want to take some type of risk, I feel. Let's see. Let's see here. Holy Spirit, please show me. Messages for Scorpio. Legal issues, court, jail. So you could be dealing with somebody who um, is in jail or maybe you have legal issues. Some type of contract. This could also be uh, soul contracts as well. Yeah, time to review relationships in life. Child support or custody issues. And you are not crazy. You are just awakening. Yeah, you're very confused about something. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. Okay, Libra on the bottom, but Libra goes back to justice. So there's something here with legal issues. 
Um, you're very confused, could be dealing with a Leo or a Taurus. You have these right here. Um, confused, confusion does not come from God. Throat chakra, you're needing to gain the strength and the courage to speak something over your life or to speak something out loud. Maybe gratitude. There's a soulmate around you. This is a soulmate. Um, that's a whole lot of information that just came out, huh? You're needing to look at all relationships in your life right now, Scorpio, and see which ones are not aligned with where you're trying to go. Some of you could be dealing with issues regarding child support or custody um, with this card here, like where, you know what I mean? Where's the child living? Maybe you have your child every other, okay? Doesn't have to be, but for some. I feel like everything is uh, looks as though or is difficult for you right now because you're going through this awakening process. So it's like everything feels bigger than it is. You could be moving jobs or homes. You have you are moving. Pisces energy. Okay, so something is hidden right now. There's a lot of deep hidden emotions. Somebody here also has a very... Um, powerful spiritual gift could be psychic you 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 see things or you receive visions or dreams yeah new job or promotion you're moving again with the soulmate you have a soulmate around you so new job some type of uh, hidden emotions that are rising to the surface that you're going to need to work through you could also have some sort of fear in regards to your job right now scorpio clarify please and then we'll get into tarot. You need to humble yourself in regards to a certain situation. Spirit's saying you are exactly where you're supposed to be, but you need to humble yourself. Take it as it resonates. There you are on the bottom, Scorpio. You're in the middle of an awakening, transformation. You need to practice detachment, okay? So there could be a new baby in the family or somebody because some, you have new baby on the way. And this is something that somebody's heartbroken about the situation. Not so much that the about the baby, but there's something it could even be this custody issue. OK, it could be this custody issue that we're that I'm tapping into. And that's what's causing um, confusion. Let's see. Messages, please, for Scorpio. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Chariot. Queen of Swords as a challenge and the High Priest is, yeah, somebody here is really gifted. Okay, you have the Emperor on the bottom. Somebody here is very gifted, psychic. Um, you're sensing something. There's something that is hidden. I don't necessarily feel like it's bad. You definitely could be moving. Yeah, there's a Two of Cups connection here that I feel like you want to move towards. Okay, you have the Emperor here. So some of you could be um, taking action in your job like or your career. You could be an entrepreneur starting something new. You're trying to come out of the box, thinking outside of the box, but you're definitely wanting to take action on something within your family or a higher level of commitment. No, yeah, this is new love, Ace of Cups. Hmm, that may be coming towards you. All right, Holy Spirit, tell me about this Three of Cups. There's something to celebrate around you, Scorpio. In the midst of all of this energy, there is something here that does bring you happiness. It looks like a get-together of some sort or a celebration with the Three of Cups. Clarify, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. You've been waiting for this? Waiting for some type of... Yeah, Queen of Pentacles could be um, an earth sign. 
It's like you've been waiting to, to meet up with this person or waiting to see this person. Two of Cups, wow. All right, so you have the Two of Cups here. So there's some type of um, soulmate connection here that maybe there's a separation from currently, okay? And because I have the Three and the Two of Cups and I have the Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, yeah. There's, there's, there's a situation here that right now there's a little bit of regret and remorse surrounding a situation or sadness and how something ended, okay? It was a major life lesson because I have the Wheel of Fortune and I feel like there was, uh, there was an emphasis on self-worth and self-love, an investment in self, okay? On the lesson like that's kind of that's what the lesson brought and it looks as though it looks as though reconciliation after a time apart is on the table all right you're showing up as the knight of cups I don't know if there's distance between you and this person Scorpio because you have the chariot um, but there's a definite message of love that's trying to get through here. Eight of Swords. But why can it not move? Somebody's stuck. Clarify this. Nine of Cups, Eight of Swords, please. Ooh, the Empress. It's intimidation. Somebody just feels like they can't move forward. Why? Clarify. The Emperor, Empress, yeah, Six of Swords. With the Five of Cups again. Maybe they're just overthinking about the return or like how would they come forward? Well, the moon is here. Could have something to do with finances. Like somebody feels like they don't have enough or they're they're hiding something about money. Tell me about this Eight of Swords, please. Tell me about this Eight of Swords for Scorpio. Yeah, what is this? Something's like somebody's financially trapped or financially stuck. Some there's a lot of anxiety around this this Ten of Pentacles. Again, could be legal issues or some type of contract that somebody's binded to. But they're wanting to they're wanting to move towards you, but I don't I don't understand what this is. It's keeping them stuck here. Outside energy is the chariot. Again, making a decision to move towards you. This is fast moving energy. Tell me about this chariot. The Queen of Swords. The King of Swords. And then you have the Empress and the Emperor. What is this divine connection we're tapping into? Ooh, and then there's a the third party, King of Cups. Then you have the Six of Cups, the Fool Tower. There's the Devil. I was hoping I wouldn't see him. Okay. Somebody may have been moving too fast in a certain decision or they made they made a decision too quickly. Now, this is going to get very specific. There is a marriage here. There's a marriage here. It may be over, okay? But I feel like there's two people that were married and then there's another person on the outside. Okay? Um, or two people that were in a committed relationship and then another person on the outside. And this chariot is kind of like needing to make a quick decision in which direction to go. Um, I also feel like this is a decision where you're needing to be led by your heart, by your intuition, like where your heart is calling you to go. Tell me about this, please. 
the chariot, queen of swords, king of swords, three of cups. What is going on, Scorpio? Wow. Yeah. The nine of swords, the five of swords. Something has somebody really, really worked up, really, really nervous. Over lies, something that was hidden. It has to do with something that was hidden. And I feel like whatever it is, they don't want you to find out. Like they're really nervous about it. Somebody here, like they don't want you to find out. Trying to see what this other energy was down here. Well, yeah, needing to review relationships. So there's something here that is not healthy. I definitely see where there's hidden truths that aren't being expressed and somebody kind of hoping to get by without having to explain them to you or without you finding out. Yeah, see, this queen of swords could be dealing with an air sign. It doesn't have to be, but this queen of swords, it's like, you can't really see much. You see how she's behind this ice? She's ice cold. There's not a lot of emotion. It's very hard to break through that that ice and get to the heart of the situation here. Why is this Queen of Swords a challenge? What 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 does this Queen of Swords bring in? Something is getting in the way of the truth here. That's why you have the High Priestess too. You can feel something or sense something. The Star trying to to gain clarity here. This is the challenge. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. Why is this a challenge? The Hierophant. Clearing the air on a commitment here. Okay, this could also be something within the family, Scorpio. But there's something that needs to come to the surface. Something that that is in regards to either an organization that's blocking someone's happiness get out of your own way something with emotion so either an organization a family or a committed relationship that's what i'm seeing for this collective but the challenge is the truth it's almost like somebody was keeping something hidden somebody was keeping something hidden again it could have been this marriage i don't know what's going on over here clarify the high priestess this is super interesting why is the high priestess here this high priestess has has a secret they're hiding something scorpio i don't know what this is it could even be you to yourself you're gonna know how to how to resonate with this if this is for you this is one of the most interesting readings i've ever done tell me about this high priestess judgment Ooh. Whatever it is, it has to come out. Whatever is done in the darkness will come to light. And that's what's happening with this high priestess in judgment. Something's coming up to the surface. The divine's bringing it up. Yeah, ooh, five of cups. Somebody does not, they don't want the secret to come out. They do not want this secret to come out. <sighs> Ten of wands, because it's a burden. This has been a heavy burden on them for quite some time. Whoever this is that we're tapping into. Yeah, there's so much conflict around them. I feel like somebody is really upset in their own choices that they made. There's somebody here who has created a bigger mess for themselves, more burdens than they knew what to do with. I, it could be you, Scorpio. I'm not saying it is, but only because you have get out of your own way. Or it could be that you need to separate from a situation where you know, this person keeps creating more difficulties for themselves and you're connected to this person and it's causing a lot of stress. It's kind of keeping you trapped in some sort of box where you're lacking any balance or give and take in the stability in your life. You're wanting something to be more aligned, more stable. But judgment is being called on a situation here. Somebody is watching you from a distance or somebody almost like, no, this person is like stirring the pot. This page of swords and the five of wands. It's like this person likes to, I don't know if there's a distance between you and this person. And they like, 
They like to communicate or call or send text messages or something just to start a problem. Like they're argumentative, they're defensive. It's because they don't want you to know whatever this, this, this secret is. They don't want you to know whatever the secret is, but spirit, God's calling judgment. It's going to come to the surface. The truth is going to be revealed. All right. I'm sending you much love, Scorpio.